Well, you know, I know tomorrow is Good Friday. And last week we talked about the amazing grace of God, the unmerited favor that draws us and helps us to be counted among the beloved of God. And you know, uh, this is the week that we have there. The Good Friday, we call it Good Friday. We have the resurrection story and we celebrate the, the greatest event in history, the history of Christianity that gives us the hope beyond the grave, you know? And today, just a day before Good Friday, I want to just follow through the video that we talked, uh, the conversation we had last week. We talked about amazing grace. And today we just continue with that story, the unending love of God. You know, when I just uh, reflect on how God loves humanity, how God loves people, you know, one thing I know is that God loves people more than anything. You know, people matter. When you start the priorities of God, it begins with people, number two people, number three people, the rest of those things that you do, even in your church, as a minister, as a pastor, or wherever you are, they come secondary to people. People are the primary and the core idea of God. He loves people more than anything. And you know, when we talk about the unending love of God, I am amazed about Jesus. You know, as we are just talking about his going to the cross, you know, one thing I know is that his love is unending. You cannot measure, you cannot how measure how wide, how high, how deep his love towards us is. Because while we were still sinners, before we even knew who we were, he went to the cross for every last one of you that is watching this video, whether you have accepted him or whether you have not accepted him, I need to remind you that his love is unending. Imagine even today, even when you're in your sin, even in your failures, even in your challenging, even in your fallen state, Jesus loves you with an ending love. He does not say, come fast, then I love you. He goes out and reaches out to us fast, then he... I mean, then he expects us to respond to his love. What a love, what a great love, an ending. It, it doesn't come to an end. You know, I, I know and I'm very encouraged to know that every time, even when, when Jesus knocks on the doors of our hearts and we refuse to respond, he still comes prodding and knocking once again, knocking today, tomorrow, and we do not give up on anybody unless somebody has gone to the grave, you know? Because once you have shut your eyes and mouth, there's no more oxygen on those lungs, that is it. But as long as you have breath and you can hear my voice and you can see me on this video, the unending love of God is still reaching out to you. So if you're there and you'd want to make a decision for Jesus, I want to pray for you. Say this prayer after me. I, there is no sin, there is no measure of depth that you've gone to, that God has can and has given up on you. Unless you are six feet under, say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I need the Savior. Save me today. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. From today, I want to follow you. Help me by your spirit to follow after your commandments. Thank you, Jesus. I receive you as the Lord of my life. And from today, help me to follow you by the help of your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Now I want to announce to you, if you have made that critical decision, the unending love of God reaches out to you and your name is written in the book of life. We celebrate with you. We love on you. Just slide into our inboxes there at the inbox section and send, send your name, send your contacts. We are going to reach out to you. We are going to help you and to walk the discipleship journey by plugging you into a Bible-believing community. God bless you and thank you for watching.